Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Honest Try TV. Today I'll be making the chicken shawarma with za'atar, za'atar pita chips and hummus from Gobble. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations you have down below. That's my eight month old. Give me a moment. Be right back. Let me make sure he's all right. He probably just dropped his milk. Just a second. Okay, crisis averted. The milk has been located and restored. We're ready to go. Don't forget, there will be a, a referral link in the description box below if you're interested in checking out Gobble for yourself. Otherwise, let's get into it. So this is not Ziploc sealed. There's a perforation. Dump all of our uh, ingredients out. Should be enough food for two servings. Zoom out a little bit. And here we go. All right, so I'm gonna preheat the oven to 450, break out a baking sheet. I'm gonna line it with parchment paper instead of aluminum foil. And then we'll go from there. Just a second. Okay, while my oven heats up, baking sheet ready over there. Next step will be to dice the Roma tomato and combine with the cucumber yogurt sauce in a small bowl. So let's find that. Here we are. Oh, it's not looking so good. It's a little squishy right here. If you can see that. Uh, let's cut into it. Usually the produce is pretty good, but this one looks like it's been through some things. Just a second. All right, I'm back. Space. Let's see, what am I supposed to call that? <laughs> dice. All right, dice. Oh yeah, it's really soft. Ooh. Huh. Should get a paring knife. This is too big. Yeah, it looks okay. I literally just got this box today, so this tomato should be fresh, hard, ready to go, super plump. Shouldn't be any problems. It literally came straight out the box. But typically, Gobble's produce is really nice, so this is an unusual case. All right, there's my tomatoes. Here's our hummus. Wrong thing. Here's our cucumber yogurt sauce. And so we're gonna combine these in a small bowl. Let me grab a spoon. Try and get all that goodness out of there. Okay. And mix it together. Okay. So I'm gonna set that off to the side. And then we're gonna cut two of the pita breads into even pieces, like so. We're gonna toss them in a bowl with um, one tablespoon of cooking oil, the za'atar spice, and some salt, and then we're gonna spread them out on the baking sheet and bake them for four minutes. I'm only at 255, so we got plenty of time to get this done. Um, then we remove Flip the chips and bake them for another three minutes, along with the remaining whole pita breads, which we put directly onto the oven rack. All right, so let's go ahead and get this done. My baby, my other baby showing up right on time for dinner. Hello, princess. Say hello on this Try TV. Hello. It's dinner time. Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what we eating? What we eating, y'all? What we eating? <laughs> All right, so. <sighs> Back to the pita bread. I withheld myself from petting my cat so I wouldn't have to go wash my hands again. Here we go. Um, So, take out two of these, I cut them into even pieces, whatever that means. Okay. We're just going to spread these. I'm going to 
gonna spread the olive oil here and just rub them in that. We're at 365 for the oven being ready. Do this like so. Okay. Like that. Okay, there we go. Done. So let's get our zatar rice. Alright, so we're supposed to use all of it. Zatar Jordanian. Pink Himalayan. Just flip these all over. Space them out. Okay. And once again with the salt. So as soon as the oven is ready, I will put these in. Let's move on to our next step. We're going to, let's see, in a mixing bowl, we're going to combine the Mediterranean spice paste. Is this it? There's no label on it. I don't know. Well, it can't be the harissa sauce. So I guess that's it. With two tablespoons of cooking oil to create souvlaki marinade. All right, oven's ready. Let me go ahead and toss these in so we can get them going. And I will set my timer to four minutes. What am I supposed to do? Combine the paste, which I think is this. We're gonna go with this. With two tablespoons of cooking oil, I'll use olive oil to create the souvlaki marinade then we're going to toss our chicken breast and sliced red onions in the marinade. So here's our red onions, here's our chicken breast. And then we're going to place a large saute pan on the stove, medium heat. And then we're going to put the chicken and the onions in the pan once it's hot. No oil needed in addition to what we're going to be adding to the marinade. So let's go ahead and get that going. I'm going to put a pan on and then I'll grab a bowl so that we can go ahead and get these two into our marinade. Just a second. So here's the sliced red onions going into the bowl. Alright. Here's our olive oil. Wait a minute. And our paste. All right. I'm gonna grab a spoon and help me combine all this together. So I think we're we're good, guys. I think everything's been thoroughly seasoned. All right. So we're at the four-minute mark on our pitas. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna let this chill for just a second in the marinade. And let's finish getting our pitas straight. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over and then I will throw the other two onto that middle rack. I'll probably move this up to this to the top one. Be right back. All right, so I just finished with the pitas. Let me show you how we're looking. So I flipped them, added the other two, setting the timer. And we're gonna come over here to our now heated saute pan and zoom out so you can see the magic and we're gonna go ahead and throw in our chicken and all right so that's on and we're going to let that cook for five minutes. In the meantime, our pitas are about ready to come out, so I'm going to go ahead and remove those from the oven. All right, so 
while this is cooking, I'm going to bring you over and show you how we're looking with the pitas. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and start um, assembling with everything else because it shouldn't take us that long to get our chicken done. So we're going to cook them for five minutes and then flip them over. Cook for an additional five minutes and then we'll be done. So I'm going to go ahead and skip down here and get things at least ready. So all we're waiting for basically is the chicken. So we're going to grab some plates and start spooning the hummus onto our warm pita. Just a second while I clean up and get some plates. Okay, and I'm back. So let's get our pitas out here. Here's our hummus. SD original recipe hummus. Baby's still sleeping. <laughs> Spread some of this on here, but we're going to reserve the rest for our pita chips. All right. Then we're going to assemble. We're going to add the chicken and onions to it later. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and add the harissa sauce. So that's this, what I almost opened before. evenly spread and then that over there get this off my finger <laughs> um, tomato and yogurt sauce oh time to flip the chicken just a second all right I'm back and we're going in for our um, tomato and yogurt sauce And sliced pepperoncini peppers. Boom. Oops. Okay, well, spread that out manually. <laughs> kind of pour it out on me. All right, so there's everything. So I just need my chicken, which will be done in three minutes. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and get our pita chips on the side as well. I'm going to try, actually, one of our pita chips. Mmm. That's pretty good. Let's try it with the hummus. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Pretty good. Oh, that's really good. Two more minutes on the chicken. Mm -hmm. And then we'll be back for the final three stuff. Came back, my baby woke up. <laughs> I took him to daddy daycare and here's how we're looking. So our chicken's done. I already put the onions on the pita. I'm gonna just take the chicken, put it on this little cutting board here. And we're gonna slice it up so we can add it to our pita. The recipe does say to put it on a cutting board and let it rest for three minutes. It was resting in the pan. I turned it off while I went to uh, take a little foot upstairs. All right, so I'm gonna make this one Jason's. So I'm gonna take the largest of these two chicken breasts, throw it on his plate. There we go. Just gonna try the chicken anyway. Interesting. Needs salt on its own. Not, not impressed. Let's see how it is in the pita. All right. So first, let me give you 360. So this is how we're looking. Here's our pita. The chicken's okay. Needs salt and pepper. It's okay. 
And over there are our pita trips, which are awesome. Those turned out very well. So I'm just gonna go ahead, let you look at this one while I try this one. All right. Let's see how she's tasting all together. Okay. Mm hmm Pretty good. Yeah. That's pretty good. I don't even notice that there's no chicken on, I mean, no salt on the chicken. Primarily because of the pepperoncini. Mm-hmm. If the chicken was salted, it would probably be too much. I mean, this is really nice. It's very good. I have this a solid mm, 8.5 out of 10. Very good. And I would definitely order it again. So thank you so much for joining us, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. And this has been the chicken shawarma with za'atar, pita chips, and hummus from Gobble. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.